to. Soon as we've been talking about movies and films and TV shows. So, what about the technology at home? Yeah, I think, like, like you said, we previously touched on it and whether it's worth going to cinema because it costs so much at the moment. So you're looking, living in London between, what, 10 to 20 quid depends yeah. on where you go. You go to IMAX quite Oh yeah, a bit. IMAX is really expensive. Obviously yeah. more expensive. Um, and you're a big advocate of actually consuming this content at home. So I just thought maybe, yeah, yeah basically <laughs> you want to put your feet up <laughs> and listen to silence. And type. <laughs> um, but how, how is everyone watching most of their, their content now? I, th- I think it's interesting you said about IMAX and the fact that you spend more money going there. I watched Interstellar, um, the IMAX. And although it was stunning, the way it was shot, so it was shot with um, uh, film rather yeah. than on a digital camera. And there was there was moments where it was all out of fo- loads of stuff was out of focus because the screen was so big, there, yeah. it was out of focus. And, and part of me, I'm thinking they're going, well, I could have just waited till that came out on, on HD or on Blu-ray. And, and watched it then, on a smaller screen, and then may, therefore maybe it would have been a bit clearer. I mean, the, the soundtrack and, and, and the visuals were, were stunning. No, no, did down on purpose. Was, yeah. No, I'm no, 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 always does. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what is mistake. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 you're obsessed. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. But it's, 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 I think we've touched on it in the tester episode. It's, it's difficult to know what you should be watching at the cinema now and what actually yeah. you should be watching at home. Yeah. And when you are at home, you've got so many different options for technology with the TVs that we have. Yeah. Then... But the thing is, I you find it's also seasonal as well, though, because it, the big movies you have to watch mm. are normally during the summer. Yes. Yeah, where they're... The you know, it's, it's, yeah, exactly. Mm. And for me, that's probably... I tend to go to the cinema more during that time yeah. of the period because mm-hmm. I'm like okay whether it's X-Men or, or something like that like, yeah I wouldn't want to check big screen action yeah. etc but the rest of the year because they're more I don't know intricate movies about storylines characters yeah. people I'd rather watch them at home but also the seasonal thing is you're more likely to go out later at night and be and be more comfortable at the house in the summer whereas yeah. it's raining outside and it's cold and you think okay yeah, yeah. I'm just going to go and mm. it's not summer everywhere though, though is it mm-hmm. Huh? No, no, but I, <laughs> no, no, but I used to work in a cinema, and the lowest attendance were rainy days. Yeah. Where were you thinking? Awesome. Actually, that would be the best time to go to the See, cinema. See, that backs up my point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, but it's, it's. I, I don't know if that's necessarily true about the action films because I saw Transformers, Don't Kill Me, at the cinema, um, and there was just too much going yeah. on on yeah, the big yeah. screen. Like, oh, just too much. So I much preferred it on DVD. Don't get me wrong; it's yeah. not a good film, but I preferred it on DVD. Something like Gravity, not a lot of major action scenes. I know a lot is happening, yeah. but I saw that on DVD, and I really wish I saw that cinema because it is you yeah. need the total. Black. I saw yeah, that, I yeah. and it was just yeah. So it was that style I don't think it's yeah. just about the action or anything. It's it's just the quality of what you're watching. Yeah, at, at that time. So in terms of quality. Obviously, now at home, TVs are getting bigger. I think, again, we, we've touched on this in the past where we said um, it used to be uh, a norm to have a 32-inch TV in, yeah. in the living room, and now that's pretty much the standard. Bedroom. Bed- it's a bedroom TV size now. And yeah, now you're looking at, it, you've got 60-inch TVs that are, are 4K and mm. smart and got everything plugged into it. Are we getting to a point where the fact that the TV or the technology that we've got in the, in the home has advanced way more than what the, the, the publishers or the, the producers and the yeah. filmmakers are putting out there because there's lots of talk about 4K TVs but not a lot of talk about 4K content, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, the film industry has been pushed into doing 4K. I mean, uh, 2015, which is this year, um, they're going to start releasing uh, 4K Blu-rays. So there's 4K Blu-ray uh, players coming out, and there's about 150 uh, movies they're going to bring out as 4K content. Um, but also, uh, we know Netflix uh, are saying, you know, we, you know, you could stream 4K content. But then again, 
uh, this is it's typical of the industry because the 4K content you got in stream and the 4K content you could get on a Blu-ray is actually different. Mm-hmm. I mean, on a Blu-ray, it's actually a better quality content yeah. because mm-hmm. of the compression, where uh, the streaming is not. But then people don't know. You won't be able it's to... Uh, so, yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. So do you require that technology? Uh, I'm, you know, at home, if I've got a 32-inch uh, screen TV, do I need 4K? No, basically. Yeah. But if you got a 60 big, inch, yeah, so, yeah, then yeah, okay, I understand. Uh, I actually understand the whole idea of 4K. But then, then does that take away from the cinema? Because you're thinking, oh, I'm going to see, I'm going to get a Blu-ray in 4K, and I'm getting a good quality in that, and... Uh, the audio they're going to bring out will be Dolby Atmos, which is not now, you know, something better than home cinema, uh, uh, surround uh, sound. And you're thinking, well, I'm getting this and I can have this at home. And then what's the point of going to well, it's, cinemas? It's a, it's a thing of, it's not, it's not just one thing. They're all so linked at the moment. So if, if you did get a 4K Blu-ray, hmm. then not only do you need, obviously, the Blu-ray player, yeah. you need a big enough TV with high uh, with a higher enough definition to get mm-hmm. the best out of that mm-hmm. then you're probably looking at a sound system attached to that mm-hmm. yeah then you're looking at kind of the the room that you're going to be using yeah. it is it going to be that kind of cinema experience all still oh. cheaper than going out to the cinema over, <laughs> over, <laughs> over, yeah, over, yeah. over the long run yeah. maybe but like I've, I've still got hundreds of dvds and i would have thought that most of us mm-hmm. have got far more dvds than we've got blu-rays yeah, yeah. yeah. so Again, I've got about eight Blu-rays. Are, yeah, yeah, I've probably got about the same. <laughs> but are, are we are we at the point where, like like we were saying, technology's just moved so far ahead that people just almost don't care about it anymore, apart yeah, from the people who are really into it. Just going back to the, the point that you know we've got all this technology, but this technology is going much quicker than the content. Yeah. Correct. And that's the, that's the, that's the, that's the, we've been talking now about, so Eric's just pointed out that they're bringing out, um, 4K Blu-rays and, and I think some of the, the, the satellite providers and the cable providers are now saying that they're going to have 4K channels. So you're going to have, you're going to have to spend another £15 a month to get Sky Sports 4K over and above your HD premium already. But then already you're seeing, um, uh, Manufacturers making 8K TVs. Yeah. So, so right. we're, we're so now. That means we've got three different standards at the moment. So yeah. we've got standard definition, high definition, and now 4K. Ultra, with it's your ultra, ultra HD. For, for more coming in. Yeah. But then so have they split 8K. the consumer base completely? So before, but before a technology is embedded. Yeah. Yeah. There's a, there's the next, the next, um, uh, evolution of that. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Well, the thing, my worry is like for, uh, going back into movies, and you know, we're talking about 4K, and they, for example, back on Blu-ray, and they're saying, "Oh, right, we're going, you know, like uh, 60 uh, frames per second. But the movie industry filmed their movies in uh, 24 frames per second. Mm-hmm. So, uh, what uh, what Blu-rays do, and, uh, and 4K Blu-rays, will, what they will do is actually add uh, images to your content. So you think, oh yeah, I'm getting a higher quality, but it's upscaling what you It's all, all, yeah. all upscaling. Yeah. So well, it's only The Hobbit, wasn't it? Yeah. It was films at a higher amount of frames per second. Yeah, and that got yeah. that and that, that got, got panned, panned because it that. looked fake. Yeah, yeah. Because apparently you saw Gandalf's beard and stuff yeah. was so realistic. You could you see, see glue. the glue. And stuff. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so have we then reached a point of? No, but you can't do anything to do with fantasy or anything because you're going to see through that facade. Yeah. Right? yeah. I mean, but I think even that could be removed in post-production. Uh, but what I think is, it's they, it's how we're going to sell a TV every two years yeah. rather than, you know, right. sell TV every five years. And uh, one thing we haven't even mentioned is 3D. And it's yeah, like, yeah. remember the whole issue of 3D? Oh, 3D! It's just, just dead on arrival. That no, was, but yeah. 3D um, didn't have a chance to embed because no. be, 3D starts getting ahead of steam and then suddenly to, it's, it's like when you've got a, a baby and you want to distract them, you have your shiny keys, you go, Ooh, yeah. look at this, it's Ooh, shiny. New toy. It's like, oh, 3D, there's your shiny bits and then suddenly yeah. someone else comes along and starts waving um, curved TVs. Yeah. Like, yeah Ooh, yeah. I'm going to move away from 3D now because yeah. I want to look at curved TVs. Was that, talking about curved TV, um, this week Harrods, had a, a TV that cost sixty thousand yeah. pounds, 
Yeah. That's ridiculous. Mm. Yeah. And again, I, I don't know if you know more about it. No, but no, I mean, uh, <laughs> a companies actually, and uh, they produce TVs mm. and they basically show TVs, you know, like, um, they, they say, look what we can produce. Yeah. And uh, because there's, there's, there's like, uh, what is it? Quad, uh, quad dots or whatever new technology coming out, mm. which is not yeah. about uh, 4K and it's about the screen resolution. And you're yeah. thinking, Wait a minute, but then this company is bringing this out and this company is bringing out. And then, and you know what? At the end of the day, normal consumer has no idea what's yeah, going on. Yeah. So they're just going to go ask, okay, I've got a thousand pounds to spend. Uh, what can I buy? And then they'll just actually buy a TV on their just, budget. yeah, their budget. budget. And, oh, yeah. I like Samsung. I've got a mobile phone from Samsung well, or something like that. Well, they yeah. sponsor my, like, my, <laughs> yeah. yeah, great for me. Yeah. Well, a, a, a lot of them are just saying a lot of things for proof of concepts. I can, we can do this. It's the, the big Gary Veyron moment, isn't it? So it's yeah. like, we can do this, so therefore we will, but yeah. it's not sustainable in terms yeah. of a business model. No, We're not going to mass produce these things. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. But it's not good for us because, no. I mean, me as, as someone, I, I quite like technology, right? Yeah. Well, I think, generally. yeah, you know, um, I'm sitting, I'm sitting at home with a, um, a 42 inch plasma TV, and every day I'm saying to my other half, I want more. Yeah, mm. <laughs> I want, but I you, want a bigger. You are, you are that typical. 4K. Yeah. T- I'm an early that typical. Yeah. Ooh, new toy. Yeah. yeah. So to bring it back, at the moment, would any of you upgrade to 4K TVs? No, as no. it stands, to no, 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 no way. way. No, not, not no. yet. I mean, no. I prefer. Funny enough, I prefer to go on the the new surround sound Atmos, mm. where actually he's talking about uh, height now, whether the five point you know one system. Mm. I prefer to upgrade with the sound, but the TV, the, you know, the quality. I'll wait till it becomes cheaper until yeah. something becomes yeah. standard. I mean, I found with um, moving from DVD to Blu-ray, the biggest the biggest impact was on the sound quality. I think yeah. maybe it's to do with I the heard. limits of my of my TV, but I think it's more around the sound quality. And I think that's that's the thing. Until there's more content, mm. and until I can get the most out of that content, mm. then I might as well stick with what I got, which is good yeah. enough. Yeah. Which yeah. is good enough. That's right. Yeah. Well, it's part of the cinema experience is the sound as well. So if you yeah. can start to replicate yeah. that, then you're, you're pretty much there. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. But then you could bring in projectors. It's such a, you know... A large... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So at the moment, we're not getting 4K until it drops down in price and there's yeah. enough content for it. Yeah. 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 Well, but by that time there'll be 16k, 16k. Yeah. <laughs> 32k. You can buy yeah. that and let us know. How <laughs> no, I think I'll skip that. I think I'll skip that. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much. Uh, This ends our uh, part two and join us again for part three.